Welcome to Easy Invest, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to talk about the simple steps for getting your Rico Theta V360 video on YouTube and displaying as perfectly as it can be. I know 360 cameras are a new technology. There's not a lot of quick information. So I just wanted to nail it down simply how to get your video from the camera onto YouTube Boom, bam, let's go. So you bought a Rico Theta V for creating 360 content on YouTube and you quickly came to realize it's not as simple as uploading a 1080p or a 4K video. So to guarantee once you upload your 360 videos on YouTube that you are getting the results you expected, you're going to need to follow these simple steps. So what you're going to need here, obviously you got to capture the video, you got to have the camera. We're going to be using a MacBook. I'm sure you could do these steps on a PC. You're just going to have to find the equivalent software on a PC to be doing this as I will be using tools specific to the MacBook and we're going to be using Final cut as our editing software so let's get into this we got a lot to cover it is quite simple but we got to cover it so let's go so with your camera just go ahead and film whatever clip that you're looking for I found that with this camera the best results are found when putting the camera on a tripod keeping the camera nice and stable you'll get a legendary results so once you finish your recording you're gonna need to take that file off of the camera and put it onto the MacBook I did notice that there is a Wi-Fi button on the Theta. I haven't played around with it enough to know if it's a quick transfer over Wi-Fi. What I do is I take the USB plug that came with the Theta. I plug it one end into the Theta, the other end into the desktop. Boom, bam, boom. On the MacBook, go to your search functionality and search for image capture. I found that on the MacBook, this is the best way from getting the file off of the camera onto your computer. Find your file in image capture and export it. We can see it on our desktop. If we open it with QuickTime, you can see that we're now looking at a file that displays as two spheres, one capturing one lens of the camera, the other sphere capturing the other lens of the camera. There's still many, many steps that we need to cover to get this bad boy nice and juicy and plump and ready to be exposed to the public on YouTube so we need to stitch this video together hmm and the best way for us using the Theta Rico V is to use the software that they provide it. We're going to go to Theta360.com. On that website, we're going to select application. We're going to select download. And I downloaded the basic app for the Mac. Ba -ba -ba. Open up the Theta software, drag the movie file from the desktop or wherever you have saved it onto the Theta software. It will take some time for the software to work its magic and stitch together the two spheres into the desired display. Once it is complete, it will automatically open up the converted video into 360 form. At this point, you can go ahead and play around with the stitch video looking around seeing the 360 view and you can see what a beautiful job the software does of creating the full 360 view and we still have a few more steps to do before getting this bad boy uploaded onto the tube so it's time to get that 360 video into an editor originally i wanted to work with imovie i just wasn't able to find the settings where i can change the resolution on imovies which is very important in making these 360 movies it's a step that you cannot bypass so i had to go ahead and upgrade from imovie to Final Cut Pro just to get my 360 movies working. So let's go ahead and open up a new project. Now this is one of the most important steps in the entire process. We need to change the resolution of our project. Without this step, once we upload to YouTube, we would not be in full 360. And this is the step that forced me to move to Final Cut. You need to be able to change the resolution. Once you open up new project, you're gonna be faulted to 4K or 1080p. But this is not the setting we need we need to change this to custom now once you're in custom we want to leave the resolution at 1920 in this field but here very important we need to change this to 960 9 60. Also, we're going to be changing the rate to 30p. This is the exact resolution we need to work with to get our video looking P-I-M-P. 
be on the YouTube. Now that we have created our settings, import the video onto the timeline. So now that we have the correct video on our timeline in Final Cut Pro, you can add all your effects, your titles, your filters, all the customization that you think will let your video shine. Now we aren't done. You have one final step. Now without this last step, if you were to upload to YouTube right now, again, it would not display in 360 video. Now why is that, son? That's because when we moved our video into our, our editing software, the metadata that was attached to our video has been stripped clean. And if we were to upload it right now to YouTube, YouTube would not know that we want this video locked and loaded in 3D form. So what do you know, bro? This is what I know, bro. A final cut, go ahead and save your work as a master file. Now, very important, we need to download a piece of software that goes by the name of the Spatial Media Metadata Injector, which is free and can be downloaded right here. Check the tiny URL that I put in, just click on it, it will get you to where you need to be. So go ahead and download the Spatial Media Metadata Injector. Once you have that on your desktop, you wanna go ahead and launch it. Select open, pick the master file that was just created in our previous step. Select inject. Now this will save your file and add injected into the name. So you know this is a new file and you won't mistake it with your previous file. But most importantly, it will add the metadata back onto your video so that it is recognized as a 360 video once we upload it onto YouTube. Boo, yeah, let's go. You know, that was the final step, bro. Go to YouTube, select upload on YouTube, select the video that we just injected and upload it. The upload's gonna take some time, as you know. YouTube doing its thing, doing its thing. Oh, we're gonna get processing. Boom! You are now at the point where you have moved your 360 file off of your Rico Theta V camera onto YouTube for the world to see. I found these videos look best on mobile devices and if you're fortunate enough to own a pair of Google Cardboard glasses or VR gear, you're gonna be blown away by the 360 3D experience. That is the simple way of getting your video from the Theta V to YouTube. Boom, this is Heezy Invest. You rocking with the best.